Hi, my name is Sarah Muscovich, and I am the Assistant Supervisor of the Youth Services Department at the Niles Main District Library. Today, I would like to show you how to register for an account with Beanstack, which is our online reading program platform. So we will get started and I will show you. So the first thing you will want to do is open up your browser and go to nileslibrary.beanstack.org. And once you go there, it should take you to our landing page. Alternatively, you could download the Beanstack app, which is available for both Android and iOS devices. It is free to download and you could register yourself through the app as well, but we're just going to walk through the browser. So if you get to our landing page, it may look different than this, depending on which programs are going on when you go to register. As of this recording, we have our Spring Into Reading and our 1000 Books Before Kindergarten programs going on right now. There will be an option to register in an individual or family or to register a class or group. And we are going to go to register an individual or family. On the next screen, it will ask if you've previously used Beanstack to participate in a reading challenge. For example, if you signed up for summer reading or winter reading, then you would say yes, but for the purpose of this training, we are going to say no. Now, who would you like to register? I am registering myself is the option you would use if you were an adult creating an account for yourself or a teenager creating an account for yourself or sometimes older kids also like to create their own accounts. But for today, we are going to be an adult registering a child. Now on this next screen, you'll start out with your adult information. So for first name, we are going to say Jane, last name Doe, by username, you just want to create something that you can remember easily. So uh, whatever you can remember. Email address, you will put in your email address. And these are just pre-populated. Phone number, you'll put in your phone number. Zip code, obviously. And then a password, you just want to make sure that it is something that you can remember. And it does need to be at least six characters long. Now scrolling down the page more, now we come to our reader's information, which is your child's information. So we're going to enter our child's name. And how old is your child? It should give you options. We're going to say our child is six. Are you a Niles Main District cardholder? We will say yes. And then we will go on to our next screen. Now it's asking us to choose one reading program to continue. There's only one reading program that our reader, John, our child, is eligible for right now which is spring into reading. So we will click on register. For this program, it does ask for a grade level. So we will say first grade and a school. We will say Culver School and we will register for that program. And we are registered. We have officially gotten our reading registration badge. And on to the next screen. Would you like to add another child? You can add more than one child to an account, but for right now, we will say no. Would you like to register yourself? I would recommend that you do register yourself, even if there isn't a reading program going on at the time that you register for adults. We do have reading programs for adults during both summer and winter. So if you register yourself as a reader now, then you can participate in those programs when they begin. So you will need to put in the year that you were born and whether or not you are a card holder and next. And that is all you have to do for that step. Would you like to add another adult? This is if you would like to have all of your family members under the same account, which you certainly can do. For today, we are going to say no. And great, you are all set up and continue. Now again, this page will look different depending on which reading program you are participating in. So right now it has our Spring Into Reading logo and graphics, but um, there should always be some kind of description here on how to participate in that particular reading program. And then these at the top here will always stay the same, the overview, the program badges, the logging badges, the activity badges, the earned badges, and the program log badges, those button program logs should all remain the same. Also, the up here in the left-hand corner underneath the library's logo, 
If you click on that down arrow, you can see all of your registered readers for your account and you can switch between them. So right now we're in John's account, which is our child, and you can even add readers. So if you've registered and you didn't add all of your family members at that beginning registration page, you can do that later. There's also a log reading and activities button that is orange and I will show you quickly how to log your reading. So we're going to log for John, but you can switch between your readers here as well, but we'll just stick with John and we are going to log minutes for this program. So we will pick the day, it just automatically picks the date, but you can choose a previous date. And how much time we spent reading, we're going to say 20 minutes. The title that we read, we're going to say Bad Kitty, and it does recognize that title. So we'll just click on that. We're not going to include a review for now, and then we will log that title, and it is logged. Now, if you go back, you can see there's an option to log activities. Not all of our badges, not all of our programs have activity badges, but many of them do. So if you click on activities, it will show you the different activity badges available for that program. And then if you click on that badge, it will then take you to the individual activities that you must complete in order to earn that activity badge. Now we're gonna go back to that main screen. And the last thing I want to show you is our program log. That will show you all of the activities and time that you've spent reading in books you've read. So right now you can see that 20 minutes that we logged for Bad Kitty by Nick Brohl. Um, again, it may look a little bit different if you are in our app, but all of the same functionality is there in the Beanstack app as well. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this tutorial. And if you don't have a library card yet and you live in our library district, you can get one for free from our website, which is www.nileslibrary.org. We will email you your library card number as soon as we can, and then you can start using that immediately to use our online resources. So thank you so much, and I hope you have a great day.